Oh, he did break them. Did you shoot it up? You got him. Look at me. You got him. He looks like a dandy. Did you get it? I got it. Did you tell how good I hit him? It was hard to see through the trees and the smoke, but I could tell it was a good, good hit, and he was. He was having a hard time moving out. I'm shaking. I don't know about you, but I am. Ready? Let's go find him. We worked around this mountain. Brian had spotted a buck uh, two days ago. Said he was a pretty decent buck. And uh, me and Eddie worked around where, where he was living. and They're starting to rut, and it was about six does he was with. Well, Ed lost the radio last night, so he had to go look for it, and in his doing so, found the six does that the, the buck was with the day before. So we decided that this morning to go where those six does were, and, and since they were rutting, hopefully he'd, he'd be checking them out. And uh, we came around a little corner, and there he was at about 75 yards with a doe. And I, had to, I didn't have a shot, and I had a tree right there, and I had to slither around the tree and finally got him. And I, I made a good shot on him, but he ran off. And we tried to follow him around the hill, is what we're doing right now. And uh, we can't find nothing, no blood, nothing. So we're going to go back, look for some blood, and uh, hopefully find some. He's a nice buck, but, you, you know, you never know. It seemed like it was a good shot. So we're going to hope for the best here. But we'll work back over to where, figure out where I shot him and, and uh, go from there. Hopefully find some blood. I think he kind of came right down through here. The way he was angled. He was coming downhill. There he is, Ed. You, you got him? Nice buck. Oh, yeah. He's got eaters on his. He's a nice buck. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Man, look at that. How good he's hidden in there. We could have been all over this hillside and not found him. Oh, yeah. I just walked. I took one step and kind of lost my balance and looked and seen a horn sticking up. <laughs> oh, man. That's a pretty buck. That is a pretty buck, Ed. Okay, let me get around and... Yeah, come down here. Go. Well, last uh, spring, we called an outfitter down here in southeastern Idaho. We've always wanted to hunt southeast Idaho. It's real hard to get tags down here, so we got a controlled tag through an outfitter and just did a kind of a, not, not a guided, but uh, more of a landowner trespass type deal and uh, we've been seeing 
Well, we've only been down here for a couple of days, but Brian, my hunting partner, he's been down here, and he's been seeing, you know, six to eight bucks a day, but he's he's holding out for 200 inch or, or something of that caliber, and uh, we've been hunting real hard the last couple of days, and <clears throat> last night we saw three bucks, and there was a couple pretty decent ones, but Brian told me about this three point that had these cheaters, and uh, he said it was just a pretty buck. And uh, so we tried to go after him, and we kind of knew where he was living. And we hunted him yesterday, and uh, he gave us a slip yesterday. We didn't, we didn't get on him yesterday, but today, last night, Eddie, Eddie found the does he was with. So we decided that this morning we were going to go after him. And uh, so we hiked up on the mountain, and right where Eddie said he saw the does, we spotted a doe and came around a little rocky cliff, and and there was a doe sitting there, and and there was a big one of these. Uh, I guess they're oaks, uh, trees, uh, in, in our way, but I could see the, the white, his white face and the white patch through the tree. So I kind of slid around the tree and I was in a kind of a cliff. So I was having a hard time getting a good shot. I just leaned against the rock and put it on him and squeezed the trigger and it thumped him pretty good. Looked like, uh, looked like I hit him real good right in the, right in the kitchen, but he's a, he's a nice buck. He's got a big old head, necks rutting up. Real pretty buck. Got some nice cheaters, high guards. He's probably, I don't know, 24 inches wide. You know, he's, he's just a pretty buck. Real happy. Southeast Idaho. Hunting in the middle of November. Well, next weekend's Thanksgiving. And, uh, shoot, now we can go home and eat Thanksgiving dinner with our family. Because <laughs> we we're done hunting. So, it's a good deal. Good deal. Real pretty buck.